Hello everyone, it's Sean and welcome back to Having Fun Repairs. And all the junk I currently have on my desk. Actually, if you're wondering what's inside this case, uh, I wasn't even considering doing a video. But uh, basically, this is one of the modules that you would find in. Uh, I've already started putting this one back together. Um, in one of those old style scoreboards that you would have on a basketball court. I'll put a picture somewhere up in the... In the corner somewhere over there or there or something like that to kind of demonstrate what i'm talking about but inside of them you have several different modules with uh, uh different rated relays and then these little motors that you see like right here and right here are actuators and uh as the relays click over whatever it drives the motors and you know they change the uh the light bulbs that are indicated on the, dis the display to either count down the clock or change the score or whatever it is. Now, uh, what I had to go through on, on two of these modules actually was uh, identify sub replacements for the, the relays themselves because they're no longer manufactured inside of this. And so I just wrote annotated notes on there in case they ever got to have to be replaced again. And then, uh, you know, troubleshot to figure out why theirs was malfunctioning. And uh, I'm going to finish putting this one back together. But uh, it was primarily due to some capacitors in, in one of the board that actually had blown a, a um, fuse over in this guy that needed to be replaced. And uh, I figured, you know... Why not at least uh, show the insides of that and and do a bit of a do a short recording? It's not going to be like it's an incredibly time-consuming video. And this one because it's not a, a huge uh, thing to do. Uh, no video fast forwarding. You can just follow along with me with this one. Should not be an issue whatsoever. Well, let me get the remaining screws in on this guy. We only have a couple. And uh, let's see, one more side. Now, I'm actually doing this uh, for the uh, basketball court at the, uh, the church I'm a member of. Uh, there, in all honesty, uh, I do not know if everything I'm, I've done that I found componently uh, to be bad inside these things is going to fix their issue because if the actual issue cascaded or caused uh, everything else to go bad was the, the motors, well, I've already told them I'm not going to be able to replace them uh, because the motors are essentially uh, unobtainable from what I've been able to determine. But uh, here lies the one that I, I troll shot earlier while I was waiting on these uh, Sprague uh, CDE 6, uh, 6PS-9, uh, or excuse me, dash P10, uh, 0.1 microfarad, 600 volt rated uh, caps to come in. And as you can see, I went through and marked the outside foil on these and they, we're all pretty much on the same side. Did that with my marker, as I as I typically do. But uh, oddly enough, ooh, yeah, I forgot this one's gonna have to have this covered piece come off too. Oddly enough, the uh, the caps that were in here uh, were marked that way from the manufacturer. Because the uh, the way the inking is stamped on there kind of indicates that. I found, you know, maybe that's just done uh, depending on who's ordering for what. There's a there's an option to get that that done when you order a part. But if there is that option on Mauser, I think that's where I ordered my replacements from. And you all know that option, then by all means. Uh, shout it out to me. I've obviously been overlooking it. Now, 
been overlooking it for for some time now. Uh, I just realized my uh, camera out of here is kind of outside the uh, the angle per se. There we go. Mm. Small desk, and when I'm working, I don't really pay attention to everything and how I'm situated all the time. No, that's not really conducive for a for good content for you all. But um, you know, I'm concerned about getting this done so I can put it bluntly to get it done. <laughs> Oh, am I forgetting anything? No, it's just sticking. There we go. Got it out. All right, so actually, um, here's here's the uh, actuators or, or motor controls that I mentioned. And you have uh, basically contacts here. Uh, these ones I actually had to had to clean up a bit because they were completely like like a carbon deposit buildup, I guess, because, uh, you know, constant arcing or something. But here goes the the caps that I'm removing. You can see them sitting here. Um, and just taking a, uh, a multimeter across them. And we can do it like this. You can see that they're, well, maybe not. Let's get that light out of there. Do it like this. There we go. You can see that they've practically gone up an entire value there. 1.6, 1.6, 1.6. So they're almost uh, 0.2 microfarad at this point. And the original cap value should be closer to that. Especially for a 10% uh, tolerance cap essentially so yeah way out of value which is oddly enough these um these fuses were not blown inside of here so well maybe once all this is plugged back in they will blow <laughs> who knows uh i hope that doesn't happen but be ashamed to have to take these all apart yet again but you know such be it the case, uh, if I have to do that, I will do it. But uh, basically all I'm gonna do is uh, is cut off these old capacitors and, and solder in the new ones. Give me one second and I'll come back. Okay, don't worry, I didn't do really anything during that brief pause that you may or may not have witnessed. I just kinda wanted to get some things set up and uh, it was also my kid's bedtime, so it was time to do the nightly routine and wanted to get some water and stuff as well but let my uh, soldering iron warm up here so this is just going to be a you know a pretty simple thing i'll try to get out the bulk of the solder with uh with the solder sucker if not we'll switch over to some uh solder wick but uh yeah not, not a whole lot to this but i suppose while i'm waiting for this to uh warm up here uh as of recently uh today being 6 July 2023 uh, also my birthday um, this week I hit a milestone on YouTube uh, reach um, the way it works now is you have two categories um, in order to start uh, like or earning something monetary the first one is you know a thousand subs um, no YouTube strike policy type stuff and then 3,000 watch hours, and then you can turn on Super Chats. And then the second one is 4,000 watch hours, and then you can start getting ad revenue. Well, I've hit the 3,000 watch hours, so I've turned on uh, or Super Thanks or whatever they're called. Uh, so, you know, that's there now. If anybody feels inclined and have watched my videos and uh, would like to support the channel in that fashion, then by all means, click that button and do whatever it allows you to do. Um, again, I just figured I'd put that out there. And, and ultimately, <laughs> I kind of sound weird saying this, but uh, it couldn't. I mean, I don't sound, I don't feel weird saying this. I feel like I must say this. Uh, that wouldn't have been enabled or occurred if it wasn't for all of you. Um, 
I, I appreciate my subscribers here on this channel and and what you're doing to help grow it uh as much as i uh appreciate y'all coming in and, and watching the content because i know some of my videos are fairly long um you know i try to be as thorough as possible in a, a lot of my content so that way y'all are following along the exact same repair process that i'm using uh, because I do realize that there are, you know, uh, a lot of you do this, you know, probably day in and day out. And so you're, uh, you've gotten relatively good, if you're not already better than me, uh, at, at doing all these things. Uh, however, there are some novice people that watch my channel as well. So uh, seeing the work firsthand uh, also goes a long way, and I understand that. Now, what I'm doing is just trying to get this leg off from where I snipped to one side so I could actually take a uh, uh, capacitance measurement with my multimeter. But probably should have removed this first and then sucked up that remaining solder uh, sound like it doesn't want to fully come off sometimes is the case Ooh, hot yeah, it's pretty stupid I can just get this underneath there there we go and that one is out. So uh, let's get this side over here. Yeah, there we go. Let's get it heated up and go ahead and get it bent out of the way. Suck up a lot of this. We don't need all that excess solder. Although I will say, I can never save up some money with all the other test equipment and stuff that I have. Um, probably should turn on my extractor. But, uh, you know, I'm trying to reduce as much noise as possible so that way you all can enjoy the video without the sound of a loud fan. So, yeah, I am using lead solder, and yes, it is getting heated up, so... Aaron lies. You know, one of those concerns, safety concerns, working on uh, equipment such as this using the uh, type of things that, that I'm using to do the work, such as a lead tin alloy solder. But, uh, yeah, there we go. That's on there. I can... It's crazy to me that they leave the lead so long on this. Like, I feel like it should be a lot shorter. I mean, it's not going to hit anything. I just... I hate it. I feel like it needs to be a lot shorter. And to be honest with you, I think that's what I'm going to do. At least on these, uh, these first couple of ones. Um... I can see why they would do that on these to keep the legs from shortening out with each other, but I just don't like that. Uh, also, generally, you don't want to have long legs on your caps, and every even the guy that just buttoned up is it's like that as well, although the legs on its uh, capacitors are... Um, they have a... Uh, they're shielded with, uh, or insulated with a bit of rubber tubing across them. All right, that's one side. I'm going to let that uh, 
solder harden back up. Yep, and I just saw it go. Now we can do the other side. And it is done. Simple enough. That's uh, this one down. Two more to go. We'll take care of uh, this one right here next. I don't think I'm going to be able to do this one or the other one without doing them both at the same time. Oh, actually, let me just turn that out of the way. I'll get this leg off of here and then start working on the other one. I didn't get enough solder off of there that go around. So for all my uh, U.S. Uh, viewers on here, hope you had an excellent 4th of July. And uh, for all my UK uh, people who watch this, I uh, hope you had a great week. Now, I know that a bulk of some of you are probably pretty close to REF Lake and Heath. It was a uh, airbase I was stationed at a few years back. And uh, you're used to the U.S. Uh, fireworks shenanigans that goes on on the 4th. Hopefully you, you enjoy that with us uh, degenerate Americans. Okay, I see how they did this side. So, uh, let's wrap the other way. So, I'm going to do like that. I'm going to make this one shorter and uh, probably make the other one a tad bit longer. We're going to go ahead and pre trim this. I might regret this later, but. I really don't see better way around this without fully cutting out these caps. All right, so this one went there. I can do this and I can do this and I'll just go ahead and remove these. We got one to the outer and one to the middle. And they're both oriented the exact same way. So that's no big deal. See what I'm saying? Like these caps right here, uh, put it up in that video. See how they have that outside full mark there? That's what that line is right here. Uh, these didn't come with that. Well, at some point in time, I suppose they stopped doing it. It's rather boring stuff. Stuff. Using my soldering iron and solder sucker. A lot of people don't like using the solder sucker. There's many things that I won't use it for just because it doesn't make sense. And uh, sometimes it just doesn't work well. But when you're, you got through whole components, um things mounting to terminal boards like this is it's, it's uh, very effective and then you don't have to 
use up a lot of soldering wick. Which is an added plus. Because obviously the solder sucker is reusable. So, out of uh, all the videos that uh, y'all have watched on my channel thus far, I'm kind of curious. Uh, what's been some of your favorites? Let me know down in the uh, in the comment section. Very interested in your feedback. Come on now. Heat up and let me get you out. I have to add some solder to my soldering iron to get this to work. There we go. I got it to bend. I'm not being the most gentle person on this, I realize. Some of y'all might be upset about that. But when you've worked on a few things, you know you know what you can put pressure on and what you can't, and what you can do and what you can't. And this is one of those things where I, I don't have to be extremely gentle. All right, I think that's going to be good enough. All right, so let's get this first one in there. And what I'm going to do is find some needle nose pliers and just kind of bend those leads. Of course, and this one to come a little bit further up. There we go. That should work. Uh, before I can solder that guy down, I need to feed this one through it. And I'm going to trim the lead. I'm going to bend the leads right here. About equal. Roughly equal. And just go ahead and form them a bit. Trim them up. And I should be able to hook these in and out as well. There we go. Oh, got that one on the wrong one. Need this guy. Actually, come back out. And of course, I'm going to do something that's going to make my work a lot harder for myself by not paying attention and not getting it to the right, the correct eyelet. First go. There we go. Let's try this again. I don't want to overbend and play these leads too much because they are going to go up in here in that 
more you twist on them and stuff, you you run the risk of breaking them internally, and that will most definitely ruin them. There we go, that side then, and that side is in. And all we gotta do now is get it soldered. One. And three. Easy enough. And there's enough separation and that's not going to be an issue. I'm going to spray this out with a little bit of QD cleaner just to get out that uh, we use a solder sucker. It Sometimes sling some of that solder on the bottom. I'm just going to flush this out. All right, but that should be it. Now, why did I cut the leads in order to take a measurement? Well, here, I'll show you pretty quickly. Uh, with it in, let's see if it will allow me to see. Can't make a measurement. Not with it in circuit. So, had to come out, and then uh, obviously by cutting one leg, you can make a measurement. No different when they're fully removed. So. Those guys are bad. I also, on these uh, uh, rotary switches right here, came through. Um, this was the first time I had it open when I was troubleshooting it. And then all of the carbon deposits that's built up on the switch, I, I polished them out. Uh, you know, carbon deposits going to impede electron flow. So, decided that they all needed to get polished and cleaned up as well. But that's essentially it. And, uh, you know, I can get this back together now. Which was in the opposite of how I took it apart, obviously. Couple screws. And uh, we'll be closed out on this guy. It might be better to get these uh, case screws in first, that way it's not moving around before I get in the connector screws. have to be careful what screws I choose because, yes, they are two different types. Now, when you're dealing with connectors like this, uh, it's best not to fully tighten them down uh, when you first start putting in the uh, each screw, right? I'm not going to take this and put it all the way down. You see how it's still wiggly. Um, if you do that, you run the risk of having to back off a screw just so I 
just to get the holes lined up. So, uh, I usually get them going. That way I know all my holes line up. And then I'll tighten them down after that. There we go, a little cross pattern. Uh, be careful on like aluminum case like this. Now it's, they're relatively dull edges, but I guarantee if you run your finger across them super quick, you are going to cause an abrasion of your finger or skin. It will still cut you. Got to work on many things with an uh, aluminum or aluminium uh, case to know that they can and will indeed cut you. Let's see, where's my last? There goes one. Here goes two. So, what did I do over our holiday weekend? Well, it was four days filled with fireworks. Uh, our local city did a display or a fireworks show on Saturday. We took the kids to that. We did one ourselves at our church Sunday afternoon. And I, I feel like we did a very good uh, finale. Might throw that finale up in this video for, for y'all to watch. And then uh, Monday, we did a couple of fireworks at our house. 
and gave me an opportunity to get the kids involved in a safe manner to teach them how to safely do those things. And uh, then as you saw my YouTube uh, short I put out on the 4th itself, Tuesday. Okay, this guy go the other way around because how's that going to plug with this lip locking it? Uh, we went out to Mustang, Oklahoma and watched all the shenanigans there. Didn't stay the entire night though. Uh, there is like this this magical hour that the young kids hit where they basically turn into pumpkins and uh, you don't get them home fast enough they're going to let you know that they're turning and they kind of get a little rotten after that point But I'm just as grumpy myself. I have not had adequate sleep, so. All right, that's going to do it. All back together. Then I made sure to write on this one uh, what capacitors to get. Actually, Cornell Doubler. C, D, E, I think Cornell something or another. I'll just put CDE for short. Anyways, 0.1 microfarad, 600 volts, time three, and 10% tolerance. So plus or minus 10%. But uh, yeah, it's going to do it for this. And, uh, you know, like I said, no clue if this is going to work or not. If it ends up being the motors, then, I mean, Relatively speaking, between that and, and the relays, which I didn't record, 60 bucks. Uh, hopefully, it fixes it. If it happens to be the motors, well, if you're you're looking for a replacement scoreboard, similar, you know, 2,000, 2,500, 3,000. That's how much those things run. So, you know, what's it? What's it really to me for the you know expend a little bit of money? in order to save uh, our church a little bit of money. Um, hopefully it works, but if not, you know, it just is what it is and we'll have to look at other things. But that's going to do it for this video. Uh, I appreciate that you've stayed and you've watched. Um, I'm eager to get all this cleaned up and, and be done with this for tonight. And, you know, uh, spend some time with my wife before bed. So y'all have a good one. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. If you're new to this channel, please consider subscribing. I don't always do these straight shot videos like this. Uh, my stuff I, I condense down or fast forward. Uh, restorations are done in series because I know they're pretty long. But, uh, you know, you can help grow this channel by becoming a subscriber. I, I look at that information. I see like 4,000 viewer, unique viewers, but only, you know, a little over 1.1K uh, subscribers. And I'm thankful for all my subscribers. But you, but you remaining 3,000, if I find you, if I find you, I'm going to ask you, uh, why are you not subscribing? But uh, hopefully you've enjoyed this video. Let me know. Uh, give a thumbs up. Leave a comment in the comment description. Um, and yeah, thanks for watching. Take care and goodbye. Mark?